Oh hey, didn't see you there. You might be wondering about the change in setting. What happened to the endless white void that I usually reside in? Well, in the beginning, I was just like you. I had a home, I had everything I could ever want, but then I realized that I didn't actually need material possessions to be happy in life. So I gave it all away, and now all I got is this trash can and this moldy banana that I found on the sidewalk. And pneumonia, but we don't talk about that. You might be wondering what caused me to make such a drastic change. Well, it's all thanks to this guy, Diogenes. While all the other philosophers in ancient Greece were strutting about on their marble floors talking about life and justice, Diogenes was like, fuck society, fuck your laws, and fuck buying stuff. I'm gonna live in a battle on the streets and I'm gonna enjoy it. And that's exactly what he did. So without further ado, let's talk about Diogenes, the most badass philosopher in history. Alright, I'm done with this. There we go, much better. Speaking of spending your money, you see that blue join button next to the subscribe button? Yeah, how about you give that a little click? Listen man, the economy's in shambles, I have 8 kids, you do the map. You get to support my videos, plus you get a cool badge next to your name so you can flex your wealth on the peasants. I know this guy that goes against everything Diogenes stood for, but I also like money so I gotta do what I gotta do. Anyways, back to the video. Now Diogenes was a philosopher in ancient Greeks. God knows they had enough of those back then, but unlike the others, he believed in a different philosophy called cynicism. According to the dictionary, cynicism is when you don't trust anyone and believe everyone is evil, which is less of a philosophy and more of just being an asshole. But in ancient Greek philosophy, cynicism means something different, something you might have already heard of before without realizing. It's the same as what all the cool kids are doing these days, returning to monkey. Cynicism involves rejecting all forms of material possessions and focusing only on the things you really need to survive in nature. Money, fame, laws, power, all of these don't matter as long as you've got your basic necessities. This means that there's no forms of currency, there's no taxes, and everyone lives a happy, natural life. It also means that a paper cut is basically a death sentence. Unsurprisingly, not a lot of people were really interested in giving up all of their worldly possessions for a half-baked ideology, but that's where our boy Diogenes was different. He took his beliefs very seriously, and he was willing to live in poverty just to prove that he could. And it all started when he was born. Diogenes was born around 400 BC in a city called Sinope in ancient Greece. He spent some time there, but he wouldn't stay there for long, because sometime after he was born, Diogenes and his dad were kicked out of Sinope for good. His dad was a banker, and they were apparently caught defacing and devaluing the currency at the time, making them worthless. Because of this, they were exiled from Sinope and lost everything they ever owned. So they were trying to get rid of currency, they've been kicked out of society, and they've lost all of their material possessions. Sounds like a recipe for some top quality cynicism. After this, Diogenes moved to Athens with one goal and one goal only, to completely take down all existing traditions, rules, and society itself. It was, you know, a little ambitious, especially for someone who couldn't destroy a couple of coins without getting caught, but I'm sure he'll be able to completely revolutionize the way an entire country of people lived. Once in Athens, he found another philosopher called Antisthenes, who believed in a similar but less extreme version of cynicism. Diogenes wanted to learn from him, but apparently he wasn't very interested in teaching the homeless guy who had no money and hadn't had a bath in 6 months. But Diogenes at this point had nothing to lose, so he just kept bothering Antisthenes again and again until he finally agreed to teach him. This is where Diogenes finally reached enlightenment, or finally snapped and went completely crazy, depending on how you look at it. He started living on the streets in a clay battle with absolutely nothing to his name. He did have a single wooden bowl with him at first, but then he saw a kid on the streets drinking from his hands and realized what a fool he was. Of course, how could I claim to be living a simple life when I'm being spoiled with such expensive products? So he immediately destroyed the bowl so that he could finally be free from all material possessions. You know, he could have just given the bowl to the kid on the streets, but hold on there buddy, that sounds an awful lot like capitalism to me. He was living a life with no rules. He'd eat, sleep, and beg whenever and whenever he wanted to. And this also included various bodily functions. You could be having a regular conversation with him one day, and he'd just pop a squad and let one out, just like God intended. I mean, what, was he supposed to just not take a shit in public like some sort of absolute beta male? This man would also regularly masturbate in public whenever he felt like it. He was absolutely unstoppable in his day-to-day -day life, and this is even more apparent in his many interactions with the Greek public. One time, some people tried to insult Diogenes by calling him a dog and throwing bones at him. So Diogenes did the obvious thing, and got done on all fours and pissed on all of them. Which I mean, if you're gonna try and bully the guy who has no qualms about jacking off in public, you should have expected to get pissed on. Another time, a mother visited him with her son, complaining to him that he was being rude and asking for some advice. Diogenes replied by slapping the mother across the face, probably cause she was trying to get parenting advice from the guy who shits in public. 
Diogenes was also once invited by a guy to a fancy expensive house and he was told not to spit on the floor. So Diogenes cleared his throat and spit on the guy's face instead. He'd also stand outside brothels, which is where you paid for sex, and made fun of everyone who entered on how they must be so lonely and desperate to come to a place like this. He must have been either extremely persistent or extremely annoyed, because he would often manage to collect a good amount of money from people just trying to make him shut up. Once he had enough money, he'd immediately visit the same brothel for himself. He wasn't even doing this for pleasure or enjoyment, he was doing this purely to fulfill his biological necessities as a human. But when it came to fucking with people, the Greek public won the prime target of Diogenes. That title belonged to fellow philosopher Plato. Diogenes disagreed with pretty much everything Plato believed in, and he made it his life's mission to verbally destroy Plato at every opportunity he got. Plato's philosophy was all about abstract concepts and thought experiments, pretty high bro stuff. Diogenes, of course, was the complete opposite of that. One of the most famous interactions between them happened when Plato was giving a lecture and decided to define humans as featherless bipeds. Which, you know, is not wrong, but it's about as accurate as describing a human as a paraplegic octopus. When he heard of this, Diogenes of course had to immediately burst through the window and drop down a fully plucked chicken that he got from somewhere you don't want to know where he's been. Then he went, yeah Plato, here's your human you dumb fuck, not so smart now are you Mr. 700 page book that no one reads. He then proceeded to take a shit on the floor and pass out. That last part didn't actually happen, but if it did, I wouldn't question it. After this incident, Plato redefined humans as featherless bipeds with flat names, which means that we're all just plucked chickens who just got a manicure. Diogenes' shenanigans didn't just stop with members of the public or fellow philosophers. He wasn't scared of anybody, even people as powerful as Alexander the Great. Apparently, even having the word great literally attached to your name wasn't enough to be spared from Diogenes' criticism, as he found out when he visited him in the Greek city of Corinth. When Alexander met him, he asked Diogenes if there's anything he could do for him as the king and leader of Greece, someone with immense power and money who could probably change his life forever. Really? You'll do anything I ask? Yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of you, so anything you want, I'm ready. Alright then, my one request is for you to get the fuck out of my way because you're blocking my sunlight. Not telling the most powerful man in the country to move out of your way is a fairly surefire way of getting a one-way ticket to heaven. But Alexander was actually impressed by Diogenes' honesty. So he said, if I wasn't Alexander, I'd want to be Diogenes. Diogenes replied with, if I wasn't already me, I'd want to be me too. The man lived every day of his life not giving a fuck about anyone, whether it be random bystanders or one of the greatest kings of the time. And despite his best efforts, he managed to live up to the ripe old age of almost 90 years old. We don't exactly know how Diogenes died, but we do know that it was probably either food poisoning or an infected dog bite. Which, I mean, he probably should have seen coming. The man wasn't exactly into the whole basic hygiene and sanitation thing. But still, he managed to live almost a whole century, probably because God was keeping him alive purely for entertainment value. Whether you loved him or hated him, you gotta respect how committed he was to the meme, which lasted even after he died. After his death, Diogenes wanted his body to be thrown out into the wild so that the animals could tear it apart and feast on it. A pretty fitting end to the man that was Diogenes. So yeah, that was the life of Diogenes probably the most badass philosopher in history. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, and watch another video by clicking right here. I'll see you guys later. Now excuse me while I proceed to critique the values of society by jacking off in a public pub. I got